Happy New Year! It's 2022. It's so good to see you. I'm filming this in November. <laughs> So 2022 seems very far away. I'm making this up as I go so that I know it was really bad. I'm sorry. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today, I'm going to talk about The Jenny Project. The Jenny Project is a 2001 television release directed by Gary Nadell. Cinematography by Donald M. Morgan. Editing by Richard Nord. Music by Phil Marshall and Alan Williams. And it's written by Charles Liebett and Gary Nadeau. Gary Nadeau, Richard Nord, and Phil Marshall I've covered in previous videos. They'll be listed in the link to the description. Donald M. Morgan is best known for Seven, Starman, 1941, and Under Siege 2, Dark Territory. Alan Williams is best known for Amazon, Kilimanjaro to the Roof of Africa, Island of the Sharks, and Cowgirls and Angels. Charles Liebett is best known for Those Who Wish Me Dead, Seventh Son, Blood Diamond, and Warcraft. The film is based off a book by Douglas Preston, released in 1994, and it's based on a true story. It's based on Dr. Hugo Archibald, who um, delivered Jenny from her dying mother and then brought her home, and his son grows attached while his daughter resents the chimp, and then um, Jenny learns sign language and then eventually goes to a wildlife preserve. The film stars Alex D. Linz, Sheila Kelly, Lance Guest, and Abigail Mavity, Alex D. Linz, plays Andrew and is best known for Home Alone 3, One Fine Day, Tarzan, and Titan AE. Sheila Kelly plays Leah and is best known for One Fine Day, Singles, The Guest, and Matchstick Men. Lance Guest plays Hugo and I covered him in the video about Stepsister from Planet Weird. Abigail Mavity plays Sarah and is best known for Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, Zeke and Luther, The Onion Movie, and Haunted. They filmed in San Diego's Balboa Park, they filmed in the Museum of Man, and they filmed in San Diego's Zoo, which is all very exciting. If you've never been to San Diego's Zoo, I highly recommend that. And it's Safari Park. The Safari Park is... Do like, do the um, giraffe feeding and the rhino feeding. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, this movie. <laughs> um, I don't think I've liked a single monkey movie that Disney has made. Um, and this doesn't change that. This movie is badly written and badly directed. So, you know, strap in. Like the dialogue is horrendous. And then the delivery of actors that I know are good in other things painful. It's painful. I blame the director. Sorry, Gary. And I also blame the writer. Sorry, what was it? Brad? What was his name? Charles? Not Brad. Sorry, Charles. Maybe Brad was the last one. Bad. I blame them both. And Gary had a hand in writing it, so maybe it's all Gary's fault, honestly, but this was not good. Alex D. Lins really tried. Homeboy's a great actor. He's excellent in Home Alone 3, and he's younger in Home Alone 3. And he's really good at Max Keeble's big move. And I don't want to hear a single word about Max Keeble's big move. If you hate that movie, go away. I love that movie. And he's really good in it. He's a good actor. And he's like similar age in Max Keeble. I think he's a little bit older or it was filmed at the same time. I don't know. But this is so bad. Um, like the Pam is a total mean pants. I don't like her. The dad is the true villain of this movie. I loathe him. He does nothing to redeem himself. He like, so basically he's an absent father. He's gone for like eight months out of the year because he's doing research in Africa. And then he comes home and he's like, it's the most important work of my life. And it's like, mm, what about your children who are here and miss you? And like all this kind of stuff. And you know, Andrew's like, you don't care about my grades when you're not here. And it's like, well, accurate, okay. And then he brings home a monkey and is like, which not a monkey, a chimp. And he's paying infinitely more attention to this chimp. And Andrew gets attached to Jenny. Um... And Jenny learns, like, sign language to be able to communicate with them. And there's a... There's a scene where Hugo, the dad, says this, says what I'm about to tell you, to his 12-year-old son. He says, I'm not gonna waste my time talking to someone who's not mature enough to listen. His son is telling him, that he is sad 
when his dad is gone for eight months out of the year and like he doesn't know how to have a dad when he is present because he feels like his dad like doesn't care about him and his dad says that when i tell you I didn't like the dad already because he's kind of being a turd blossom about being away and then he wasn't even like super excited to see his kids or his wife. And then he said that and I was like, oh, oh, the true villain of this story is the dad who took the chimp out of its environment and brought it to America and then neglects his children and then like blames the children for his neglect. Um, so I hate him with every fiber of my being. So, and he does nothing. He takes, he gets a grant to go back to Africa and he's like, gonna go. And then like his bit, he never apologizes to Andrew for saying that. But he just takes the whole family to Africa instead. And that's supposed to be like the, he decided he chose his family and his work. Which like, I'm not telling him to choose like work or choose his family over work because I get it. He's passionate about like saving the monkeys and shit. So, sorry. But like, ho ho ho! True villain of the story. Um, and the movie's bad. So, um, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's everything I have for this movie. It sucks. Uh, because it makes me mad. Like, it's not, definitely not the worst movie. It's horribly written and horribly directed, but like the cinematography's fine. Music is fine. Acting is fine. Like, Alex is good, I guess. But <laughs> that's it. Uh, my final rating is three. I don't know. Three diapers out of ten. <laughs> Our total movie count is parent death. Jenny's mom technically dies, but I don't know if I want to count that because Jenny's an animal. But I've counted animal parents and like things where animals talk but that's different so i don't know i can't remember if i've counted like i know i didn't count parent deaths in like the true life adventures so i feel like i shouldn't count it here so i think i'm not gonna count it so technically jenny's mom died but we're not counting it so parent death and cry count are still the same if you want to keep up with the movie and watching when follow me on instagram Twitter, you'll find out movie i'm watching when i put up videos every monday wednesday and friday by merch Merch is sick. You can't buy this anymore, but there's a bunch of other merch you can buy. Um, happy January. <laughs> uh, and uh, join Patreon. By now, I should have lowered all the prices of my tiers except the $1 tier. But all my tiers now are like even prices that make sense instead of being the wonky prices they were. So go check it out. You might be able to join a tier that was higher than the tier you might have been interested in so you could get more stuff. So go check it out. Uh, until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm in charge of your life. You are, so you do you. And don't be Hugo about it. I love Max Keeble. Ooh! <laughs> Alright, that's it.